Hi, this is Greg Justice with Scripter Publishing Group, and I am here with a very special guest today, a fitness icon, Denise Austin. And uh, if you have been part of this industry uh, for any time, you will know Denise from multiple TV shows and pretty much every magazine that you could mention. Uh, so Denise, I want to thank you very much for spending a few minutes with me to talk about the legacy of Jack LaLanne. I am so proud to be here because he was my mentor from day one and he meant the world to me. So this is an honor. Well, thank you again. I like to start these interviews by asking my guests about the first time they met Jack and how that meeting impacted their lives and careers. So could you talk about the first time you met Jack and what it meant to you? Yeah. Well, um, I went to Washington, D.C. from Los Angeles because there was a big White House conference about aging and a healthier 2020. And this was in 1981. And so, uh, and here we are now. It's weird. It's 2020. 2020. <laughs> Back in the day when I went to this conference, I had just graduated from college and I was uh teaching aerobics right when it was beginning in Los Angeles. And I was invited to go to the White House conference because I competed in gymnastics. I was involved with the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports, and they were the ones that had this big conference. So I went to Washington, D.C. as a you know California girl, and I get there, and it's a big, huge room at the Shoreham Hotel, and um, from a distance, I saw Jack LaLanne. I went, oh my gosh, I have to run, and I have to introduce myself. I have to <laughs> tell him hi and how much <laughs> me, because my grandfather would be standing in, in his living room doing his workouts with him with the chair. My mom did it. And so I ran up to him so excited. Oh my God, Jack Blaine, my name's Denise and I do gymnastics and I started aerobics and I would love to come on your TV show because my grandpa did your workouts, my mom did, and I just love you. And I would love to have a chance to go on your TV TV show and guess what I could even do handstands on your TV show while you do a, a push-up I'll do a handstand <laughs> and they went whoa <laughs> okay <laughs> and I was there you know with the president's council so he, you know I wasn't just some random right girl. right so um so anyone who was there was involved in health and wellness and right. um you know uh, George Allen was there. It was you know, a, a major, uh, you know, group. And um, he kind of, you know, kind of smiled and laughed and, you know, okay. And I said, oh, so who do I call when I get back to California to be on your show? And he gave me a piece of paper, his producer's name and the phone number. And he said, you call on Monday morning, right when you get back. I said, I will do that. And thank you. Thank you, Jack. You know, feel my tummy. I told him, feel my tummy. <laughs> and he laughed and and then um, I got back to California after the conference was all done and I made the phone call to the producer and the producer um, said, yes, can you come on Monday? Cause we need you to come next Monday. KHJ was in Los Angeles at the time. And it was right off of Melrose. You got off the 101 Hollywood freeway and you went straight on Melrose and there was KHJ. So come to KHJ at like 5.30 in the morning and we're gonna be shooting five shows that mo Monday. I said, okay, bring a lot of different outfits. I go, okay, so I packed up my bag, I drove up there and um, I you know, met him and Elaine Lelaine and uh, he, come out here, come here, Denise, get over here, right here, right next to Elaine and I'll be in the middle, you be on this side and Elaine's on this side. I said, okay. <laughs> and I was wearing like running shoes at the time because we didn't have aerobic shoes right. yet, 1981. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
So I said, do you want my shoes on or do you want my shoes off? And he said, oh, take them off. That way I'll look a little taller. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, okay. So he's in the mill. We did the show. And I mean, I was on high. It was the best. Yeah. And he's so funny. He wanted me to do it. Do those leg lifts. And he's kidding. Yeah. Watch her legs. Because being a gymnast, I was able to just jump into anything. He right. was to do, you know. And, um. And so my little segment was done. And then they said, oh, come over to the kitchen. Be, you know, part of us in the kitchen, too. I'm like, oh, okay. So I got to do, you know, back in the day, even for a juicer, he was doing those uh, juicer drinks. And right. that's what we did in the kitchen that day on that TV show that day. Mm -hmm. And um, so I got to just stand there and be kind of, you know, tasting it and a part of it. And he, he was so warm and friendly and brought me into everything they were doing that day and yeah. then he said we'll stay for the next one we need you and so the next one it was just like a blessing in disguise um usually it's the producer's wife on that side mm -hmm. and elaine on the other side the producer's wife was really really cute well she had morning sickness that day uh -huh just found out she was pregnant and she was like in the bathroom and kind of not feeling good so she said could you go out and do it the next show for me i just don't feel good i went oh okay <laughs> okay i'd love to and then she didn't feel good for for many weeks so they keep inviting me back you know come really you come to this next one come wow to and so i was off for like a year as like the co-host and then um so we became really good friends just because right fun and to be there with him and he said so funny he made me laugh about everything yeah jokester that he was you know it was kind of um fun because it's yeah. like oh he's fun too you know it's not <laughs> just fitness it's you know because being a gymnast everything was pretty serious you know yeah. and my aerobics i made it really fun and yeah. so he kind of liked that that i did this new word aerobics you know and uh, so he let me run with a few things you know yeah and then um and then a show got canceled so um uh I can't remember the business part of it for him, but I just remember I felt really bad for him because uh, he worked so hard and I didn't know what happened. You know, it just got canceled. Mm -hmm. And so then I was like, oh God, this was like the dream of my life. He gave me my first start. And so then I got a chance to be on um, KABC in LA mm -hmm. with my own show, more of aerobics. Woo! High energy. Yep. yep. And then I got that show, and then my I got married in 1983 and moved mm -hmm. to Washington D.C. for my husband's job. Mm -hmm. And um, and then he would come to D.C. a lot because he was close to. Then Arnold became the um, President Bush got elected uh, 41, mm -hmm. and um, first it was Reagan. So he worked with Reagan um, and Dr. Ash Hayes, and then he. Um, and then George Allen was involved. George Allen was with Reagan. And then um, he was good friends with George Allen because they're all from California. Yep. Yep. And then, um, so I got very involved with volunteering with the President's Council as a young, you know, um, girl. Uh, I was able to go with Jack with a contingency of people because Arnold, uh, he, when he came in with President Bush, he was the chairman and he wanted to hit schools and he wanted to hit like on his own money, go to all 40 state, 48 states or mm -hmm. it. I can't remember how many he ended up doing, but Jack and I did it with him. You know? yep. So and I, John Cates, right? Yes. 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 That's right. I, forgot I, I just talked to John yesterday and what a terrific gentleman. Oh my God. I totally yeah. forgot yeah. about him. And so we would go to different cities. I would be able to go, like we went to Indianapolis, you know, just, and he was just so funny. And, um, so through the years, whenever I was, uh, when I wrote a book or on TV, uh, one of the best things I would always, like I got on the Today Show in uh -huh. 1984, I became the fitness expert on the right. Today Show. Once a month I'd go on as a, you know, fitness tips and information. Yep. 
And um, so I would always say, well, Jack LaLanne gave me my first start on TV. Well, Jack, well, this is what Jack, and he always would call me right up. Denise, I, you're, you're one of the only ones that always thanks me. I got to give him credit. He goes, thank you. And one time I was on CNN, uh, Larry King Live. Uh -huh. And I mentioned, you know, Jack Lane again. And he called me right up and thanked me for yep. remembering that I was, you know, uh, I said, of course, Jack, you were the one that yeah. gave me. Of course, I'm going to credit you and give you. Why would I not? And he goes, well, not a lot of people have. And I said, oh hurt my feelings you know and then um i said always you know so that was kind of cool he always called to thank me i heard you on tv i heard yeah. you mention my name thank you you know yeah, so Don't nice. to, but i said of course I, of course i'm gonna and then uh that was just one of the best things and then um through the years i mean 31 years until the day he passed mm -hmm. i would call him out of the blue or he called me out of the blue mm -hmm. with just hi what are you up to and so one year about uh when president george w bush got elected um he uh, i was i was uh, on the president's council as a, a member and um i was able to give him a lifetime achievement award by the president's council and they asked me to give the speech and you know give it to him so that was the biggest i was right in the mall of the white uh, i mean nice. right um, in washington dc with all the monuments and um and that was one of the last times i saw him too so that's very and, cool yeah and then i talked to him like maybe four months or so before he passed uh you know we all were going to a um something for his uh juicer he always, mm -hmm. the tristar always had a party or something yeah. Yep. and um we did something for that and then when he passed elaine asked me to speak at his celebration right. i was, saw that yes yeah arnold was first and mm -hmm. i think lou was yep. second because third and then richard simmons right. and elaine <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so uh that was a huge honor too yeah well let me ask you this i'm, I'm just curious was was your aspiration to to go into tv or did that just kind of happen spontaneously when you went up to him and asked to be on the show i mean was that your goal to have a tv show or did that happen just kind of by accident and then it led to it yeah i did realize uh how exciting it was till i did it you know okay um, i didn't i didn't think of it when i went up to him i just said can't come on your show that is so yeah i mean think about it that's amazing you know, he liked to do like funny, um, like me holding his feet for push-ups and right. I do a handstand. And right. So I knew that it would be fun. I, sure. I didn't, I, I fell in love with it while I was doing it with right. him. Right, right. What, how exciting it is to be on camera. Right. So um, it just was like, well, being a gymnast a little is a right. little, you know. You're, Are you still part of the gymnastic community at all? Um, at the University of Arizona, I am mm -hmm. a little bit. Okay, okay. I mean, international. I mean, do you know Jonathan? No, I was never. Okay, uh, okay, okay. I okay. was always good enough to get a college scholarship, but okay. I was never an elite gymnast because I started at 12. Oh, okay, yeah. You did, yeah, they, they, it's like they're two and three now. When they come out of the yeah. womb, they go right to yeah. the gymnastics. <laughs> yeah. So my, um, I was just so proud to get a scholarship. To help right, me. yeah. Okay. Finance. You know, okay. We have a big family, a lot of kids. So. A lot of kids. <laughs> well, and your sister was a professional tennis player, which, yeah. Uh, tennis player, that's my sister in law. Oh, that's your sister in law, husband. okay. Okay. That's okay. Jeff Austin, is my husband. Right. And that's his little sister. Okay, so. okay, okay, very good. So it's an athletic family, to I say the least. Yeah, I do have some cute photos you might want of. Jack and I. Yes, I yeah. would. Yeah, um, you've got my email, so I would love to have um, have you send those. Those okay. would be terrific. Yeah, because we do want the photos well, for I, the I book as well. I've done Throwback Thursdays. And yeah, no, that would be that would be perfect. Thank you so much. Well, let me let me transition and ask you to share with 
us your favorite story about Jack, whether it's with you or just, just what is your memory, your favorite story of Jack and your time either with him or just that you've heard about him? Oh, can I put you on one second? Of course, of course. Hi, honey. Well, it's okay. Let me, I'm going to resume. Okay, I just paused the recording. So now we're back and ready to go. So, so just, just kind of a, um, I would love to hear a favorite story of yours about Jack whether you were part of it or not, just, you know, memories, some, some of the favorite memories you have of Jack. Um, well, I have so many, but uh, <laughs> I just think that uh, my biggest memory was the first time I went on. Okay. Uh -huh. with, to be honest with you, because he was so gracious and so welcoming and I got to do everything. He wanted me to be part of it all. And, just the way he treated me was just um, so dear and so wonderful that I've never forgotten that. And that's kind of how I treat all my other, you know, fitness people that I see and try to help is because uh, he gave me so much of himself right. and just those stories of filming with them. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> we never redid anything. We just, so he taught me so much about just, being on and being yourself and that's it and we're done okay so do you feel like that impacted then your career from the standpoint because you i mean my goodness how many years did you do your own show yes i did it for 24 straight years wow espn and yes. lifetime and that's another thing he says okay denise um he says you know uh you've been on for 24 years consistently you've never been off the air Right. I've been on, I think he said 39 years at the time. Yeah. And he said, on and off. So you yeah. got, I've been on more, but you've been on consistently. Yes. <laughs> he, you know, he got, I know, like we made a joke about it. Right, and, uh, right. Cute. Um, what else? But one of the funniest things that, you know, people don't realize is uh, how he, you know, he, I said, okay, fill my tummy. And he goes, oh, and what else? I said, no more, that's it. That's my tummy. You can only go back to my tummy. He was, you got to stop at that. He'd laugh, you know. And, um, you know, it was, he was just cute. Yeah. Well, that was, su it's such a common theme of all these interviews that I've been doing is, is talking about, obviously, his generosity, how humble he was. But everyone has talked about his sense of humor and just how enjoyable he was to be around because he was so funny. Yes, yeah, and yeah. he would make you get down and do push-ups. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, he didn't let you slide, you know. How many more can you do, Denise? You know, <laughs> so he made you feel um, challenged. Right. Time is fun. Yeah. Well, what, what about legacy? The dogs, though. Oh, yes, his I, dogs. I don't were... know why when I Yeah, his dogs before when I was young and, mm -hmm. My mom did it. He always had the dogs. But when I went um, that year, uh, that time, we yes. didn't have the dogs. So. Right, right. And, and Elaine was then on the show more at that time, too. Oh, yeah. She? Yeah. yeah, that's okay. what I thought. That's what I thought. That's how I got close to Elaine, too. Yeah. They were a good team together. No question about it. Well, let's talk about legacy and talk about um, what do you think Jack's legacy is not only to our industry, but to the world. Let's, let's kind of transition into legacy talk. Well, uh, for me, the legacy that he holds is, like you said, the godfather of fitness. He was the first to have the exercise TV show. He was the first to do challenges and feats. Now everyone does challenges. Yep. But he was the king yes. of those amazing feats at all ages up through his life. His legacy is the um, two-hour workouts that he did till the day he died. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, in his 90s, still telling me, you got to do weight training, Denise. And, you know, how his, um, his legacy is his motivation. I mean, his ability to motivate people. And mm -hmm. um, he never uh, missed a workout, yeah. which is beyond, you know, for me. Uh, what else? God, it just 
him as a human being, where he came from and where he ended up and how, how the longevity, I mean, it's really hard to be in the industry all these years and still right. stay at the top and still be the best at what you're doing. And, and I think it really, um, he had a lot of friends, you know, great friends, you know, too. So he was a, a, a father to many, you know, he had his own children, but he was a father to many, many, many people as a, um, as a mentor to many. Right. People. Well, if you were to describe Jack in three words, what would those three words be when you think of Jack LaLanne? Motivation, motivator, number one motivator. Um, God, three words, that's hard. <laughs> uh, kind of like the king of, you know, fitness. I mean, he mm -hmm. was the, the first, you mm -hmm. know, the, the king. Innovator, he thought, yeah. Yeah, innovator. Mm -hmm. He thought, he showed me his uh, first leg press that he designed. Yes. I, in 1940 something he was the one that was thinking of a uh, push with the legs for the muscle i mean he was before his time really before all the new innovations and you know um technology he, yeah well you know, all of those but innovations, he always was relevant right exactly and all those in, in, in innovations came from him the original innovator i mean the cable and he did it his house like created at his house that you know i'm gonna use this and i'm gonna try this and um and what was interesting is uh i would always ask him well, so what do you think about cardio versus weight training and oh weight training oh weight training denise weight training you know because mm -hmm. the muscles gotta stay strong it's weight training right. so um it that's always kept in my mind you know and now i'm in my 60s so mm -hmm. it does you know ring the bell that, right. you know got to keep up the you know training I, you know i think it even impacted if, if you know you think about the the father of aerobics kenneth right. cooper yes and i think because i know jack and ken cooper were very close and actually kenneth did a nice piece for us for the book as well but i think it also impacted his philosophy on that as well, because he used to be so much just about the running and the cardio and the aerobics and aerobics, but they yeah. even transitioned more into weight training at his uh, Cooper clinic. So uh, Jack so, really did have that influence. He sure did. Yes, and, yes. Uh, even without equipment, those push ups and sit ups and squats, you yes. know, all of those uh, exercises were yeah. his state. So. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's resistance. Your body weight is yeah. your resistance. And if you're yeah. traveling without equipment, you've got your own right. gym. So he preached. And he always said, uh, no white sugar, no yep. white flour. No, I mean, he said this in 1981 when nobody, I mean, probably right. said before, but when I was on the show with him, you know, yep. I heard it from my own right then and there. And, right. Uh, and he always had the veggies in that, in the blender. And that was in 81 years before he yes. even yeah know. that that's uh, when you think about he was so ahead of his time and not just with the weight training i mean he was the first person to introduce weight training to athletes to women to the disabled and it was just so inclusive and right. brought everybody right. into the fold yeah inclusive yeah. is a great word and he had um his glamour stretcher yes uh, yes yes and we used to do workouts with that, but that's just like the now booty band, you know? The right. You know, everybody. But he started that, you know, you'd hold it and you get out your glamour stretcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything that is out there today is because of what he created back yes. then. So yeah, I and, think it just... Uh, one thing he did tell me is, Denise, um, uh, you know, I love everything you're doing. Um, it just take uh because my husband's a lawyer so that helped he i always felt that maybe someone wasn't looking out for him for uh finance right you know, he did so uh giving 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 yes. that people took advantage of that and he kind of said um don't denise let that happen to you you know later right. in life said that and it was really really cute the way yeah. he said, you know like protective like 
I was his own, you know. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, you were probably much like a daughter or, or granddaughter, I mean, to yeah. to him. And so I think yeah. he probably was very protective. He would talk on the phone all the time. Yeah. I'd see him quite often because he would be, um, you know, at all. He came to all the <clears throat> meetings at the President's Council, Washington, D.C. Right. Four times a year. Right. So he never missed a one. Yeah. Never sick for any of them. He was always there so he was quite um you know you know um what, you know integrity so much yeah. integrity yeah no that and that's another good word <laughs> to describe him integrity that's awesome